Floor hockey, a variation of ice hockey, uses five players per team and one goaltender. The object of the game is to use your stick to shoot the ball into the opposing team's net past the goal line. There are several different sticks used, such as wood, fiberglass, plastic, or graphite. There are also different types of balls and pucks that can be used. Ball control for an able-bodied player involves holding the dominant hand one-third of the way down the stick, holding the opposite hand on the top of the stick around the shaft. To receive a pass, track the ball to predict where it's going. Move the blade of the stick perpendicular to the direction of the ball. As the ball makes contact with the stick, gently cradle the ball to decrease acceleration and maintain control. To shoot the ball at the net, bring the ball backwards towards your back foot, keeping the ball in the center of the blade. Push your weight onto your stick and sweep the ball forward while transferring your weight to your front foot. As you release the ball from the stick, flick your wrist allowing the stick to lift the ball. There are several modifications that can be used depending on functional class of cerebral palsy. For all groups, a larger, heavier ball can be used. This will help players make contact with the ball. The weight will help to stop the ball from rolling quickly away from players. For functional class 1 and 2, you can attach a double hockey stick to the wheelchair or use a ball pusher. The individuals can propel themselves or can have someone push them. Trap the ball between the sticks or in the pusher and push the ball towards the net. Individuals with cerebral palsy functional class 1 and 2 can use a motorized wheelchair or propel themselves on level surface. Sometimes they have minimal hand control and strength, therefore by attaching a stick to the chair, they do not have to hold the hockey stick in order to participate. By taping the stick to the hands, individuals can still swing the hockey stick without actually grasping it with their hands. The next group, functional class 3 and 4, can use bent, modified hockey sticks. Usually, they can propel their own wheelchair and have enough hand mobility and strength to hold the stick. Rationale for this is that they can propel a wheelchair independently and they have good grasping abilities, therefore can hold the stick during floor hockey. Puck control while goaltending can be achieved across all functional levels. Functional class 5 may use an assistive device to ambulate during sport. They can attach the stick to the walker or use the walker single-handed. The rationale being they have good balance during ambulation and when assistive devices are used. Final group being functional class 6, 7, and 8. They can grasp a stick while moving and able to shoot. The rationale being they can ambulate independently and they have a good grasp of abilities, therefore, they are able to use a hockey stick without assistive devices. In floor hockey, all functional classes can play together. Special thanks to the John McGivney Center. Thank you.